Whoa, we got four. We got Pollock as well. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to dig into some old footage which didn't get used last year. We've got some boat dives, some shore dives, and also some fishing. So we're gonna kick off the video with a shore dive from back in November, uh, where I catch myself a nice pollock. Enjoy. Right, so I've just made it down at the beach. Um, it's been windy all day, but it's been in offshore wind, so this, uh, Cliff here is sheltering me from the from the wind, so it's quite a nice little little spot. Tide's on its way in. Um, it is now seven o'clock, and I'll probably got about two hours of light before it gets dark. In the shallows, on the way out to some deeper water, I came across a few lobsters, none of which were big enough, but it's always a nice sight to see. People have different methods of attracting fish and you know some people like to flick the bands or some people like to use croaking sound with the throat uh, all of which I tend to mix up on the day and find out what works best. I had a few bass that came quite close but they weren't really big enough so I waited about three or four dives before coming across this pollock again it wasn't the biggest pollock but it was one big enough to keep so I took this one home for dinner. The second day was a family trip out on the boat and this was actually the first time I'd taken the whole family out uh, onto, onto my boat since I bought it. Now we anchored up in a small cove for some lunch and I decided to have a quick dip in the shallows to see what was around with my homemade gun. So I dived down to about one meter, if that, probably like 0.5 of a meter, uh, made a few croaking sounds and then all of a sudden a nice shoal of bass came in. I picked the larger one out of the bunch. After lunch and on our way back to the mooring we decided to stop at a little reef and drop some feathers. Always quite fun to do and we managed to get a nice bucket of mackerel to take home for dinner. Hey, yeah, really? yeah. Oh my god, look at that rod bending leaks! <laughs> look at that! I can't you! Oh, you've got four rod! Get that one, Laura! <laughs> hey, look, he's just dropped a sand eel, look, out of his mouth. Whoa, we got four, we got Pollock as well. He got, that's it, that's it. Not, oh, not. That Pollock, oh my God. <laughs> nice. Oh, what, what depth? Oh, there's loads down there, look. I'm chucking the Pollock back. Why? It's not very small. Now we've got enough fish. That's a lovely mackerel. Oh, and they put them back. <laughs> Drop them down, Lise. You too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sally. Oh. <laughs> Tangled now. The next video is from back in September time. We had a really nice 
a sunny evening where the water was flat calm so we decided to head out to a reef and found some really nice rocky ground and uh, some good kelp. There was quite a lot of life, uh, a few small pollock, a few small bass and obviously the wrasse were there. Now the bass that I shoot in the next clip is actually my favourite shot from last season. It's just because I was so relaxed but also the fish that were coming up to me were very relaxed as well and it made it very easy to pick my, my fish that I wanted. But it also goes to show how selective uh, spearfishing is as I let you know five or six bass pass me before actually choosing the one I wanted to shoot. After each getting a couple of fish we decided to move a little bit closer into shore and try another spot of mine and on the third or fourth dive I came across another shoal of bass and amongst them was a fish big enough to take home. The last clips of this video are from a really nice day back in this summer where the water was flat calm, there was no clouds in the sky, it was a really nice day. Me and a friend went out roughly five or six miles to a reef and did a bit of fishing. Not anything serious but we're just really enjoying the flat calm water and making the most of the weather. As usual, thanks very much for watching, if you're new to the channel please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Maybe I can see what was broken. Oh.
So you live in the dream 